In 2 Corinthians chapter 1, we are encouraged to both remember and to pray for those who face deadly peril. Here at Lutheran Church Charities, we continue to support those who are suffering and are in need, those who are facing such deadly peril throughout the world. As you have an opportunity to listen to these next brothers and sisters who express their journey in the faith as they face such deadly peril. I encourage you to remember them and to keep them in your prayers. War came to our land like a heavy rainy storm, like a tornado. We felt it in the air clearly long before and we saw it's coming, but we hoped and believed till the last moment that it will not happen to us. From the first day of Russian invasion, our city was shelled with aircrafts and missiles. People hide themselves in the basements and run away from the city to the borders. But despite the shock, we had to care for our own survival and for survival of our children. 90% of my congregation, including my wife and two sons, was evacuated of the country. One day I found myself in the empty shell of church building with only three men, my church elders. We defined our mission very simple. Our motto was to survive ourselves and to help survive others. People search for drinking water, for food, for medicaments. Many of them were looking for good news since they were depressed and pessimistic about their future. Looking back, I think it was God's calling, God's vocation to us to help those people and to give them hope we were having in Christ. Our church became a shelter for hopelessness and spiritually starving people. We always encourage people to focus their hope on their Heavenly Father who gave His own Son as a Redeemer to our sins, to the God who loves, who hears, who responds. It is amazing to see God's Word working so quickly and powerfully in the midst of sufferings for the last three years. Our church is fully packed with people on Sundays. New people come searching for satisfaction to their basic material needs, but at once they discover God's love and forgiveness, an eternal hope, a new family, and the strength and meaning for living and for the fight. It is hard work to be a pastor or a church worker during a war time. Being separated with family and bearing the burden of the people, inspiring them with uh, the gospel. But we do not consider ourselves as heroes. Rather, we see ourselves as transmitters of God's blessings and observers of God's work. Our own faith and strength are under permanent pressure and under the attack. But we feed ourselves with God's word which we are preaching to the others. And we are comforted with what we see and with what we are involved in. It is still a very hard time for Ukrainian nation. And we ask you to remember church in Ukraine and its workers in your private and corporate prayers. Thank you for supporting us in many ways. Thank you for standing with us against this evil. We hope that God would hear our prayers and will cut short the days of the destruction, sufferings and death and will give peace to the Ukraine. May God bless you in faith in Christ.